Hey guys, welcome back to RC Legends. And um, once again, thank you for stopping by. Very, very special video for me. This one we're building the Hombe the Hobeo Hyper H4E, one tenth high end touring car, the only touring car Hobeo ever made back in around 2013. This thing is super special. Um, a massive thank you to Chris for donat donating this to, I was going to say to the channel, but it was actually for my collection because I had one back in 2013 and sold it. And uh, yeah, it just so thoughtful finding another one and sending me it. Just absolutely off the chart. Um, so Chris, if you're watching, honestly, a massive thank you. I'm so excited about putting this together. Um, obviously, it's just for the collection. All carbon, all alloy green alloy as well this thing it's pro i've said it before it's the sexiest touring car chassis i've ever seen and that's because of the color um but i think at the end of this video once it's built you'll understand where i'm coming from i also want a shout out a massive shout out can you see this little bad boy down here a massive thank you to neil for donating me this motor when i bring a camera over i'll do a close-up on it it's an lrp v10 spec 2 modified motor i think it's a 15 quad um just to go in the collection so neil if you're watching honestly a massive thank you my friend right let's bring the camera over i'll show you that motor quickly and then we'll get into this kit and we'll get it built so excited so yeah, look at this lovely motor. LRP V10 Spec 2 Modified Pro Racer. LRP are great motors. Um, and this one's in absolutely great condition. So yeah, I think you can see at the top it's a bit faded, but that looks like it, it was gonna say 15. So it's a 15 quad wind, obviously modified, so adjustable timing, um, it'll have bearings in it. Um, really nice looking motor as well. Um, so yes, we will get that one in the display. That looks not centered. Yeah, very happy. Again, Neil, if you're watching, a massive thank you, my friend. Now, onto what this video is about: the Hyper Hobeo Hyper H4E Pro high-end touring car. It's a black and white picture. Oh my God, let's get cracking with this. This is going to be so good. Oops, getting giddy. Alright, instructions, look at the colour of this, let me just move that down, look at the colour of this alloy, look at that, is that not beautiful, right, I'll, uh, off camera, I'll um, get all, the, all this dug out and we'll get cracking with step one. Right, oops, let's get into this, so as you can see I've just got all the Part bags they'll be seen in order. Not open them. Look at those wheels. Not opened anything yet. So onto the manual. Very different from something like a Tamiya model uh, manual. So interestingly, stage one is building the shocks. Very rare. You start with the shocks on, on a kit. Um, and I just had a quick look what was after that. So as you can see, number two is the front differential. But it's not a diff, it's a thick spool, um, which is cool. Don't know if it's got one-way bearings with it. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll figure that out as we go. And then rear differential is gear diff. So yeah, that's cool. Right, so let's dig with parts out for stage one. Right, so that's all the bits out for stage one. Look at these little shock bodies. All four, oops, all four shocks are the same. Look at that. Lovely. Little white springs as well. Um, right, let's get into this. Right, that's the shocks built. And actually, actually took way longer than it should have done. But, um, yeah, they feel good. They're like big bars, aren't they? Kind of big bar touring car shocks before big balls came out really for touring car i think 2013 maybe no, i don't know anyway god yeah that took way longer than it should have done so uh let's crack on with stage two right that's the front spool as you can imagine not a great deal to it but the side plate gets glued on um three screws to bolt this in center section in 
then there's a little split pin goes through and an allen key a little grub screw down the middle um, and a couple of bearings very nice right moving on to stage three which is a rear diff so that's a rear diff I'll just show you it like this so it's an oil diff um, but nowhere in the instructions does it say to put oil in it which is hilarious I've just been through it three times um, anyway we'll fill it up with oil and we'll get, and we'll get it sealed right that's the rear diff sealed up with oil in feels really nice as again, again didn't know how much sort of oil to put in it was quite thick as well but um, yeah if you if you feel it like that super smooth feels really nice right so that's those three sections done looking at the instructions on stage four it's the steering knuckles and front arms huh, it's a very strange way of building a kit this from what I'm used to and I honestly can't remember building this first time around I was probably drunk <laughs> um, anyway yeah let's build that front end the arms up so just jumping back on I've got one side made really nice super precise I guess you'd expect that um, yeah very very nice this is a front hub um, but yeah I just wanted to point out the front um, CVAs or UJs whatever you're going to call them come pre-made um, and two size bearings in the hub so you've got a small in the front and the large in the rear right so I'll build this side up and then it's just a case of adding these to the front arms right so that's stage 4 complete that's the arms very cool so yeah I built one side completely wrong I put the knuckle upside down because it in the instructions it only shows you one side it doesn't show you the opposite side it's quite strange anyway moving on to stage 5 which is the front differential mount assembly okay now we're going to pick up the first piece of carbon and the first proper piece of green alloy exciting right there's the chassis oh oh suits you sir nice and then the first proper piece of alloy these are the rear I think I presume is it rear could be Oh, sorry we're doing the front end first interesting right let's start getting it built I'm back just to show you this I know it's not much to look at but um, this is where this build really starts coming together so I've got the uh, adjustable cups that just slide over the bearings obviously they've got to be positioned to uh, tension your belt in the future but they've got to match up um, anyway yeah let's crack on I'll come back when I've got something else done right just thought I'd show you this bit quickly so I've just put the top bit on these um, with one bolt through here and now next step is to get it fastened down but when you want to adjust your diff these screws come out that I haven't put in yet and then these just fall back once you've slackened them and then you can pull your diff or these cups more so and adjust the tension of your belt very very cool indeed oops yeah loving this build um, right let's crack on right um, so yeah bolted down got the turnbuckle top arm bent uh, balls on um, and front cabin shop tower you're getting to get a gist of where that belt's supposed to go like that um, so yeah looking at instructions now we're on six so we've got the front um, arms holders to go on um, and then yeah we just put the arms straight on top make the turnbuckles up for the top and also fit the shocks very strange way of building a car this for me so when I come back this front end is going to be basically finished but nothing on the rest of the car very strange but uh, yeah I've got to say it again very enjoyable right front ends taking shape so we've got the arms on God, it's beautiful isn't it it really is so yeah everything's moving as it should um, no steering on yet so looking at the instructions 
Uh, that was stage six. Now, so in stage six, it wants us to fit the front shocks um, and then the bumper arrangement. Very bizarre way of building, but um, yeah, enjoying it. Um, so yeah, I'll get those on next. Right, I apologise for keep coming back with hardly anything done, but oh, I just want to show you this as it comes together. It's absolutely fantastic. It really is. All I've done is put the shocks on, but... Uh, so cool. So everything needs adjusting, but because obviously I've not tightened that up, but uh, we'll do all that at the end. So actually, yeah, where it's going to sit, it's going to be right up there, so it's probably going to be way too low. Arms will probably... Well, no, they won't be parallel. Anyway... Um, damn, this is awesome. I'm loving this. Right, now I'll get the front bumper on and the steering assembly done. Right, that's stage seven fully complete. So since you last saw it, um, obviously the bumper assembly is on. Um, I've not gone with the body post because this is a shelfer. Um, it may run at some point in the future, but uh, I didn't want a big dirty um, body post sticking through. And the steering is on. And there is two, four, six bearings involved in that steering system. And it is super smooth. I mean, you would expect it, wouldn't you? But, um, yeah, so obviously we made the other turnbuckle, steering turnbuckles. Oh, it's belts doing me heading because it keeps falling off. But, um, yes, so looking at instructions now, moving on to stage eight. Um, we're gonna. That's the front end complete now. So now we're going to start on the rear end. Right, so that's all the goodies for stage eight. So it's very obviously very similar to the rear end. So I'll uh, I'll get all this rear end up and the rear shock tower on, um, and then I'll come back. Right, that's all of eight finished, which is obviously the rear bulkhead, um, the diff in correct position. I put the rear um, arm strengthener on. I'd probably not call that, but you know what I mean. And Obviously we've got a huge shock tower. The back one's huge. Um, and obviously the belt's in position. So, just looking at instructions now, we're going to move on to number nine, which is rear hub and rear suspension. So again, I'll because it's so similar and a little bit straightforward, because obviously this doesn't steer, I'll, uh, I'll get all that built up. Right, that's the rear arms um, made up, all finished. So, yeah, still on nine, so it's a case of just sticking these on the back end now. And that is where we're up to. I was going to say it's finished, but it's not the back end, I mean. Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, my God, I love it. I got these two items wrong way around. So it was towing massively out instead of in. Um, anyway, luckily I realised. Um, yeah, why I've just jumped on before I finish it is I didn't show you this on the the front end. Look at these alloy suspension top mounts. How nice are they? Damn, this thing is super sweet. So yeah, we're getting there. Um, right, next up is just looking. I'm on ten. So we've got to mount the rear shocks and a rear sway bar and obviously we're not doing the rear body posts so that's actually the back end finish so I'll come back when that's done right that's the back end complete very nice indeed obviously shocks are on anti-roll bar is in position I'm looking forward to watching this back on the big screen myself to see all this green <laughs> yeah very cool so belts back in so yeah that's what we have right now so as I said because that's section 10 so moving on to section 3 is now the center bulkhead where we'll tie it all together and connect to belts and stuff so uh, yeah let's crack on right so that's the center spur and um, pulleys either side of the spur gear done very nice unit indeed and bearings on it obviously yeah right so that's 11 let's carry on right center bulkhead alloy is in very nice indeed 
it does kind of tie it all in now um, so spur has these covers that go over the bearings and then this we're going to sit this in next connect the belts and then there's these two lovely little pieces of carbon that um, bolt it all down so um, yeah let's do that and make sure the belt tension is good because if we have to adjust that that's going to be a ball ache right that's the centre bulkhead in place don't even know if it's called a centre bulkhead that's what I'm calling it um, so yeah two pieces of alloy as you've seen then get the belts on um, and then this piece of well double piece of carbon which holds it down at the back stunning absolutely stunning what a thing now I know the top deck's not on yet but um, yeah that is so nice so looking at the instructions let me just recap ever so slightly yeah that was 11 so now we're moving on to 12 where we've got this lovely um, servo um, bracket to go on Two, another two pieces of green to go on the car yet um, so we'll fit that and then we'll put the top deck on um, and I'm not too sure what else I'll do this off camera I mean there's the battery holders to put on so in fact I'll just finish the car now right just before I put the top deck on I wanted to show you this because I remember this from when I built it first time in 2013 so you get this beautiful um, what do you call it servo mount and it's in three pieces and two of them are alloy and that outer one's in plastic and I remember what was it seven nine years ago thinking why you've gone to all this extent to make this beautiful car which it is so as you can see you got alloy oh, sorry alloy this is your first bit and then you got this beautiful bit and then this plastic bit maybe there's a reason for it if there is i don't know what what that reason could be i honestly don't um i've also made up the little steering arm it's quite a unique thing but um yeah so that's that um yeah i just i just thought i'd show you that because i just it just reminded me of when i first built it and i was like hmm Two beautiful pieces and a plastic bit on the outside. It wouldn't even be as bad if it was the opposite way around. Plastic in there and then the alloy here. Anyway, I'm bitching about something that's not important, I know. Right, um, now is the top deck. Right, that is the gorgeous carbon top deck on. Whew. This is a car that just keeps giving. It really is, it's stunning. Probably those of you watching who don't get what I get from touring cars, I, I kind of understand, but um, yeah, that is awesome. So, let's try and get it all in camera. So that's pretty much it. Um, I just want to have a look to see if I've got something for this before I put the wheels on. Um, right, I'll be back. And that, my friends, is it finished. And a little bit I had to go and look for was the green wheel nuts. Massive shout out to Van Tat if you're watching, my friend. He sent me tons of little bits like this for a couple of years. And when I, when the parcel arrives, I always think, oh, I'm not sure what I'll use them on. But guaranteed, eventually I'll use them. And I remember he sent green wheel nuts. Anyway, so yeah, there we have it with the the wheels on and that is just absolutely gorgeous what a touring car that is what a build that is god that was so much fun and i i honestly can't believe how much time that actually took to put together um that's that's pretty much been a full day believe it or not but oh my goodness me, that was so enjoyable. That really was. Damn. I'm sorry, I'm nerding out behind the camera, as I do. But um, yeah, that was, that, oh, I was gonna say that was. That is a little bit special. What a thing. And what I'm really looking forward to, and I can't do it now, because I've got to get some, or a new cabinet, 
is to get this in the cabinet and when the lights are on it the green's going to really really pop um, with this light in here it's terrible because all the big lights are on but um, yeah when it's in the cabinet oh my goodness me that's going to be off the chart what a thing my friends what a thing and that my friends is pretty much that I don't know what else to say about this build because I've just said it all on the rest of the video just absolutely superb honestly I, 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 I know I was gonna say I guess but I know a lot of people are not into the touring cars or, or how I or the way I'm into them by you know the high-end stuff of carbon the alloy the different colors of the different manufacturers it, it's always floated my boat um, but I, I you know I get that it doesn't on others um, but there's there's no denying that that is a beautiful RC car, is it? Um, it's, yeah, it's, it honestly is incredible. Um, whether whether it'll ever run, I don't know. Now I have it, there is a chance. Um, I am looking at going to, I think, I always get this wrong, I think it's Phoenix Raceway. It's about an hour and 40 away from where I am. Um, I've never been, but it's got a big, proper indoor touring car track. It's a big club. I think it's a model shop as well. Um, so I do want to go there. And, yeah, I mean, it doesn't take a lot now to get this hooked up and give it a run. Apart from, obviously, we would need a body, but um, that's no biggie. But for now, it's winter. This is just going to get my cabinets and my shelving and my lights sorted out and... Um, in fact, shout out to Keith. Keith's doing me another 10 shelves. Um, and one of our shelves is for this car. Uh, really excited to have this in the collection. Um, and Chris, if you're watching, um, yeah, I know I always say, I honestly can't thank you enough, but I, I can't. Such a thoughtful gift donation to me. Normally I would say to the channel, but it, it's not, it, it was the way it was worded, it was for me. Um, because I knew I built one in 2013 and foolishly sold it and regretted it ever since. So to go out your way with your hard and put on money and, and buy one for me and then ship it from the US to the Canada, it's just insane. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the build, my friend, I really do. Yeah, just awesome. Really, really, really awesome. Anyway, I'll shut up because I have no idea how long this video has been, but leave in the comments what, what you thought to it. Um, so, so, so cool. It's one I could stare at for a long time. Anyway, as always, my friends, thanks so much for watching. It is massively appreciated. If this is the first time you've stumbled across one of my videos, what a good one. If you could maybe give this video a thumbs up, say hello in the comments. Leave a thumbs down if you think I'm a dickhead. And subscribe if you haven't. And if you do all that, turn notifications on for our weekly videos. And check out Tammy Legends channel, my other channel. Um, and as always, my friends, happy RCing.